When you first install MapMate, the first thing it asks you to do is to go through the configuration wizard. The configuration wizard allows you to make some preliminary choices about which species groups you're interested in recording and which ge geographical areas you're going to be recording in. If you click Next, it takes you to quite a long list of all the different types of wildlife that MapMate has in its species dictionary. If you're simply interested in recording plants, you can ignore most of these, of course, and scroll all the way down to V for vascular plants. If you're a BSBI county recorder, you should tick vascular plants, microspecies and kerophytes, which is the filter that BSBI likes you to use to send records into the BSBI hub. However, if you're not at working at county recorder level and if you're not interested in recording microspecies and kerophytes, you can choose the simple vascular plants one instead. But you need to have at least one of these boxes ticked. If you go next again, you get taken to the list of geographical areas that MapMate deals with. There are several different types of geographical area in this list. Some of them are modern county names, some of them are RSPB reserves, and further down the list we get into a selection of H numbers, which are the vice counties for Ireland, and then towards the bottom of the list, under V, you get the vice counties in England, Scotland and Wales. The vice county is the important one for BSBI recording purposes, and you need to know the number for the vice county that you are recording in. So the minimum is that you need to have your vice county ticked. If, however, you might want to analyse your records for the modern county, modern counties often have slightly different boundaries to the vice counties, then there is nothing to stop you ticking the modern county boundary that goes with your vice county. And then you can choose later on in the programme whether to analyse the records by the vice county or the modern county. So, as I say, the minimum is you need to tick vascular plants, and you need to tick your vice county. You can then go to next again. If MapMate has put a tick in these boxes, I normally leave them as they are and then just click on OK. MapMate sorts out the lists that it needs based on the choices you have made. And once it's been gone through that, it tells you the configuration is complete and you can click on Done to finish. So what has that actually done? Why do you need to have these configuration settings? Well, they crop up in various places in the program. For instance, when you're in the data entry part of MapMate, you can choose, when doing data entry, to set your filters so that they only look up the names of plants rather than having to go through the entire species dictionary. You do this by going to the records menu, change defaults, and you can then choose which site filter you want to use and which species filter. And the choices that you get in these drop-down boxes are based entirely on the ones that you ticked in my configuration. So, for instance, if I suddenly decided I wanted to record butterflies, I'll go to this box and I don't have butterflies as a choice, I only have vascular plants. So what I would have to do is to close down this bit of MapMate, go back into my configuration and tick off butterflies and it would then appear in this list. But for the moment I'll choose plants and I'll choose my vice county and OK that. And we can see that uh, the data entry is now set to look just for plants in vice county 24. So that's one place where my configuration has an effect. If we go to the analysis bit of MapMate we might want to browse all of our records um, but again, we might decide that this time we don't want to look at the vice county, we want to look at the modern county. So there's a button up here that allows you to change the defaults from this part of MapMate. And we can go back into this list and change it over here and OK. It's telling me now looking for vascular plants in Buckinghamshire and I could run any of the queries based on those filters. The third place where the My Configuration settings have an impact is when you come to create synchronization files to send off to other people. When you do this, you have to set your filters to tell MapMate which data you want to send off to another person. 
So again, in the BSBI context, it's likely to be your vice county and vascular plants. But as with the other drop down lists we saw, the only choices that you're offered here are the ones that you have made in the My Configuration settings. So if your original choices that you made for the My Configuration settings change, if you decide you need to record an extra species group or you go to a different county, it's easy to change the My Configuration at any point. You go back up to MapMate's View menu and at the bottom of that you can go back into My Configuration and it takes you through the same wizard again. You can go to the species group and add in millipedes for instance or any of the other species groups that are on the list you can tick as many as you need and it is actually a good idea to tick all the ones that you think you're likely to use as i say you can always go back and change them later but you might as well tick the ones that you're likely to use and for some groups you do sort of get several different choices if we look at bryophytes for instance which includes the mosses liverworts and hornworts we can tick a box for bryophytes that will allow us to report on all our bryophytes in one go but if we thought we would ever want to look at mosses separately, we should also tick these other boxes. And that simply gives us more choices when it comes to reporting on our data. We can choose either to look at all the bryophytes in one go, or just mosses, or just liverworts, or whichever version we want to use. Similarly, with the geographical areas, it's worth ticking all the vice counties, and possibly the modern counties as well, that you're likely to be recording in. You don't have to use the modern counties, the vice counties, so it really is important to have those for BSBI recording. And as before, we just go through and tell the configuration wizard to update its settings, and uh, those choices will now appear elsewhere in the program in the other places that we saw.